What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination, a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we're doing Game 13. In the Map Master series, where we are taking a look at every single map in the game one by one, try and figure out where they stack up in Free For All Progressive. Today's map is Reverse World. So, Reverse World, in case you guys didn't notice, this gets people all the time, including myself. North America, South America, Africa, Eurasia, and Australia. This is the world's oceans as the continents, and the world's continents as its oceans <laughs> and now you can't unsee it okay i'm going to take a bonus we have a line for a bonus turn two um and we're going to see how this cookie crumbles maybe i'm cool with green on the bottom yellow is a bot so i'm not going to overextend to take this bonus but ah, i have a pretty good line to take it turn one i'm not going to take it turn one i'm going to take it turn two on a hundred percent roll on that blue too that's all I'm going to do this turn. I think moving my two into the stack makes some amount of sense. No, we'll leave it as a guard. I'm just gonna move this over. Okay. So settings for the series and settings for the game. We're doing World Dawn Progressive. We're tearing up all these maps to see where they stack up. For World Dawn Progressive, we're playing a five player game with one bot. World Domination on Reverse World, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we do start with one. Progressive cards, balance blitz dice with nothing fancy, no fog, no portals, no blizzards, no alliances. I'm in position two. It does look like green player would like to take this plus five next to the plus four I'm trying to take, which works out just dandy for me, but he's really bad. He's rolling two V2s. You never do that. You don't roll four V2s. You certainly don't roll four V4s. He's rolling manual dice, though, and he gets a good roll. Okay. All right. So we've learned a couple of things about our green neighbor to the south. Yeah, blue's not feeling loose in a four stack in the corner. I don't blame you, but blue's going to get six troops to start, which will help them catch up from that. Fairly lucky roll from green. He's really not happy. All right. Let's take a look at the bonuses. In reverse world, you got a plus three in the top of West Arctic and a plus three in the top of East Arctic. Another plus three is Mediterranean in the middle. Central Arctic, North Pacifica, and Lower Atlantic each, each worth plus four. South Pacifica and Pacifica East each worth plus five. And in the middle, you have Atlantica and India each worth plus seven, if you can hold it. So they're big juicy bonuses. And in no stretch of the imagination would I have guessed that I would be playing in a world with people taking bonuses in reverse world. Um, but it does seem like this is the way the meta has shaped up. So I'm going to try taking a bonus in reverse world and see who breaks me. I'm going to guard on this position after I take it with a threat stack. Um, rather than trying to guard that position. And I'll maintain two exteriors, obviously, depending on blue, what blue does. Because I... I I fully expect somebody to break me. Ah, not surprised that blue does that. Does he leave or does he hang out in the bonus? He hangs out in the bonus. Oh man, watch. Watch us see green manual 6v7 and lose. Okay, so my thinking is I'm going to take this bonus next turn. I'm going to add, add. I'll have two exterior positions. Should be good to make kills. Looks like purple is going for Pacifica on the right-hand side. Plus five, slightly larger bonus, and they're guarding with twos, so that is a longer-term play, more of a fixed-style play. Players in this game, in the first seat, we have Rocky, LP3, from Spain, playing as purple. I'm in the second seat, playing as magenta. This is the main Pete account in disguise. In the third position, we have Hamla, playing the flag of Lithuania, playing as green. In the fourth seat, the yellow player is an expert AI. So anyone in this section of the board should be kind of worried, and I'm going to eventually abut them and have to guard. In the fifth seat, the orange player is David Ruiz from the United States of America. And in the final seat, Snake Driver 367, also from USA, playing as blue. Okay, because I have. Need my threat stack to be just a touch larger. I have two exterior fours with which to get cards in the future. 
I'm going to guard on a threat. I'm not going to guard my borders. I'm going to guard on an interior threat that points up. I'm not going to mess or threaten with green because green is currently in a war. Oh, but green got to hold four, uh, got to hold 12 territories. So they actually get an extra troop. Do they break the peatman or do they try to take their bonus? I think they're a noob, so they might just go breaky. They might just not let me have it. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so if you were trying to take, we've learned a lot about green this game. If you, he's gonna manual? No, he just blitzes. Oh man, we've learned a lot about green this game. Yeah, blue is gonna help me kill them. And then I'm actually gonna have a good neighbor likely with blue in the bottom because despite the fact that blue is indicating his displeasure and saying good game, um, which is something I don't think a very good player does. He's obviously better than green, who's playing just objectively terrible and just clicking buttons. Sure, yeah. Let's keep fighting that fight. Green's gonna be first out. Bot rolls 5v3 of orange. It's a decent roll. Orange loses, but almost has that. Blue is in a sticky situation because even if he takes that plus five, um, yeah, he's down to 14 troops. So even if he takes that plus five, um, we got to shrink green, basically. Finish my thought. Even if he takes that plus five, um, yellow player, the the AI will break on this front. So him being good neighbor with me doesn't advantage him either. So I probably don't get to hold a plus four, but I don't need a plus four. We're playing free for all progressive. Like I don't need a bonus to win this game. I'm already in three positions. They're strong. We do see a nine before. Okay, looks like orange is the same idea. Orange would like bonuses as well. So purple is under 20. Blue is under 20. Purple losing four stack there is kind of rough, particularly because orange and purple are trying to be neighbors as well. Okay. Blue adds to the four and hits the two or hits two singles. I think we want green under 12 territories. Okay, he blitzes a 2v1, which you don't want to do. Gets the green player to... 15. I don't want green getting five troops so they can hit willy nilly. Or do I? Or do I not retake my bonus so green can focus blue and then I break them after the fact? That's a better play. I want green to be distracted by blue currently. I want I want them to noob slam. Hmm. Okay, orange holds a bonus in the top right. Purple holds a bonus in the middle left, or the middle right. Um, bot gonna get strong. I think blue's in big trouble. I think green's in big trouble too. Um, how do I pay all this off? I'm gonna preserve my two here. I'm gonna preserve my two here by getting a take on orange and fortifying it to the stack without retaking the bonus. Um, this leaves green with five, with 15 territories, which gives them five troops to start, and that all goes into the six. I figured that would. I figured giving him the extra troop would benefit me because it would clean out a six stack. Yeah, he's still getting really good dice. You see it, folks. You do see it. Okay, so he's gonna hold that bonus. He's going to hold that bonus. I'm going to break it. Maybe I don't. Yeah, he breaks everybody. So so the, the reason I am so confident that Green is a new player, um, a noob, I have no problem using the word noob. I, I think, I think if, if uh, people take that as a derogatory term, um, that's on you. That's projecting. I'm happy to use the term noob to describe how I see the situation. So I think green player is very, very new for a number of reasons. They over attack. Um, they make bad odds rolls. Uh-huh. 
And most importantly, when they take a bonus, um, they also break their neighbor. So I think in, in risk, it's, it's, it's a fairly basic level of thought that what you're going to want to do when you take a bonus is you want to be cool with the person next to you because otherwise they have nothing to lose but to break you in reciprocity. Orange locks a 10 stack. I think that was an error. No, it's not locked. Orange is going to break their neighbor as well. All right, so we aren't seeing very much good neighbor. Oh, okay. Orange going whole hog on purple. Blue down seven troops. I have lines on the blue kill. I'm going to maintain lines on the blue kill. Um, I don't think I can afford to let green have... Uh, 15 territories plus a plus five. That's That would be 10, 10 troops to start. That's just too many. Um, remove an exterior of green there. 5v2, yep. That's perfect. Dice pivots to the two. Losing two positions. Looking real fishy. So is purple. I have lines on both the purple kill and... Oh, purple sets. They're going to punch orange back in reciprocity. This is a spicy game, folks. I think just being in three positions as I am is probably pretty good, but I'm next to a dangerous, crazy person. Yeah, that's going to go... Oh, and he gets perfect dice. That's going real badly for orange now. Do I have lines on the orange kill? I do. I do, I do. But he doesn't push across the top yet. Okay. I am going to break the green bonus but keep all of my troops in a stack so that I don't retake. I have nothing to lose. He's still, uh, yeah, well, blue last because he broke me, right? So five troops, way different than 10 in this scenario. Um, and green is still incentivized to break the bot. He's going to do both. He's going to break and retake, maybe? He's going to roll his 2v1 and risk failing. Yeah, roll a 2v1 and risk failing. He gets it. Okay. Good enough. And then he rolls a 74 and continues to get the best dice you've ever seen because this green player has gotten ridiculously good dice. Let's see it. Rolling three, blitzing three. 74 wins, breaks the bot. Okay. We got a problem. We got a problem with this guy. I have a solution. He has 19 territories, so his natural reinforcement will be six troops if nobody touches him. Bot going to go smack, smack, retake. Oh, no, smack, smack, smack. I like that better. Break this man. Crush his hopes and dreams, bot. This is why we have bots. Crush his hopes and dreams somehow. Not that way. The hopes and dreams are supposed to be crushed. <laughs> Hitting a lot of green. Green back to 15. Do we see a 4v2? We do not. Bot well, takes two bonuses on green's border, though. This is no longer my problem. This is a green problem now. Which I like. Still in three positions. Still have good lines for the orange kill, the purple kill, the blue kill. Whichever of these cookies crumble, the peatman will profit. No longer going to try and hold that bonus. Do you still think I break green, though? Continue the breaking. Or I pummel into them. No. Because they've provided a nice buffer zone between me and yellow. So they're going to have to waste too many resources hitting this bot. While I just continue to go um, pop and then stack. Which I like. Or just quit. Orange made a play to break his neighbor. His neighbor responded correctly, and he quits like a baby. All right, see you later. We have two bots in this game. Bot sets gets the eight. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have cards? Sets are already getting high. The 10 trade now. You can hit two of green there. Pop, pop. Yeah, blue has a mission, and his mission is to place higher than green. I respect that. I respect that a lot. I'm even going to give him a well played. I see what you're doing, Blue, and I like it a lot. Unfortunately, I might have to kill you for your cards. 
Can I kill blue here? Take the 10 set, take the 12. Yeah, I think it's profitable for me to kill blue here, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, blue. That sucks. You got into a war with a noob that you lost. I do not relish this decision. Okay, yellow pummeling, pummeling or um, purple pummeling orange. Yes, unfortunately, we must shuffle blue off this mortal coil. Which, again, I do not relish the decision, but it, it is numerically correct at this point in the game to uh, set get the 10, then set get the 12. I also don't want to be pointed at purple, but I don't see a way I can stop that. Unless I do a different fortify. <laughs> I think I will do a different fortify, actually. Break green. Uh, and maintain three positions. Perfect. Okay, so we pop. And we fortify the five to the four. Leaving... Purple in a strong position on the right-hand side. Green getting four troops. Sets gets the 15. That, from their imagination, probably has to go into yellow. But a little bit to retake, right? All into yellow? A little bit to retake, right? 4v2. 75% chance that they retake on a blitz. Yes, nothing for anyone else, everything for me. This is the new mentality. Do we have cards? We do not. Okay. Nothing for anyone else. Everything for me. Yeah. And unfortunately, Blue gets last here, even though Blue's probably, as far as I can tell, the best player in the lobby. Purple might be okay. We don't know. Keep punching. Just keep clicking buttons. Yes. Keep clicking buttons. Good for you. Is well done. Okay. Bot can be on two cards. Do I have a line on the bot kill? Go down and break. Please break both of these these bonuses so I don't have to worry about it. Breaks one. Lovely. Love you. Breaks two. Four v two. No. Too bad. The four v two front holds. I'm going to break him on the same position for the third turn in a row. <laughs> you broke me once, you will never hold a bonus this game. You're too dangerous to be allowed to hold a bonus. Okay, orange bot puts in the top left. Starts taking cards again. Purple gonna be strong. Okay, green removes, we, we lose a green exterior. Green kill looking good, actually. Green kill looking good in two turns. Lining that up. Bot breaks bot. Bot on bot violence, folks. Yep. Purple getting nine. Purple going to finish the top line here. But do they push into the middle as well is the question. I think I'd be wise to remove purple's only exterior. So they're in one position at this point. They're not actually as strong as me in terms of troops. Making a kill was very profitable. And I'm ahead on cards. But they are going to take a second bonus. Yep. I think I run this way off my 11. Don't threaten purple at all and line myself up to make kills on orange, yellow, and green. Go into a 1v1 with purple at the end of the game.
We actually back the stack off, I think. Continue to point it in another direction. Yeah, you get no bonus screen. Okay, set on four. No, I think I have no set. Fuck. No set here is bad. No set here is bad. Okay. Are we lined up to make a kill without cards? Can I kill yellow? Maybe. Maybe I can kill yellow. That's my line, I think. Yeah. Kill yellow. Trigger a trade. Okay. That's how we do it. Unless someone beats me with a punch. Who would, though? Kill yellow set. Kill green set? Something like that? That might be possible. No, because of the, the two and the one up here is hard for the green kill. Let's focus on killing yellow. Come down. Sweep finish. One, two, three, four, five. So I need at least 10 troops on the eight. Probably 11. But I'm rolling three times. Without cards, I'm only going to get three troops. I can make it an 11. Oh, that that's bad. I mean the... Ooh, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, this is a tight kill on yellow, but I think I have it. Make it a 10. And I think we raise this position to an 11. So I have to roll one, two... And then hit a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not great. It's not a great kill. I have to get good dice here. I'm going to take a risk, I think, and do it. 15 territories. If we stay at 15. No, 14 territories. Okay, getting four. Hmm. Don't love it, guys. Don't love not having a set here. See how the cookie crumbles. I think I go for this uh, this yellow kill. I do. Hope to get good dice. Purple's gonna hit me, putting me under tw under twelve territories. Purple feeling really strong. They've caught up to me in troops. Just hit any yellow. Any yellow at all, and I'm good. He's guarding his borders. Okay, playing it like it's fixed. Yes, hit yellow on the bottom. Yes, thank you. Yellow out 14, that kills a lot more viable. That kills a lot more viable from that. Now I don't have to add anything to the eight. Okay, that, that little difference, guys, hitting that too, made this kill go, go from being somewhat lucky to 100%. And I'm lined up perfectly to hit green now after the fact. So we pivot from a trade... Have to hit 24 to finish green. So six up here. Everything else on the seven. Everything else on the four. Let the seven hit. Okay. Just make maximum use of your troops if you can. It's going to be very satisfying killing the green player, I have to say. Nine to hit four. And six and two. And one to finish. All right. I'm now to 1v1 with purple versus the orange bot. Hit them in the soft middle. Make a lot of board. There you go. 
feels good. Move my stack all the way to the other side of the board. They're next to trade, and we sit on 69 troops. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't usually emote, but seeing as how I'm in a 1v1, <laughs> let's see if he can hit it. No set on four, he's toast. If there is a set on four, we will have some back and forth. Maybe he kills orange in the clutch, giving himself second. But we'll see. I could, I could kill orange, take a profitable trade, and then give purple second, which is probably how it's going to go, because he's going to set. Orange bot breaks a lot of my bonuses. All right, probably going to set and punch the shit out of me as he should. No set? No set. Terrible. Terrible news. Sorry, dude. That's rough. See, the problem is I, I have to take this purple kill just because it's easier, right? He has less troops, he has more cards, and he's in a single position. Everything about this purple kill is easier for me just to guarantee the win. So in a in a lovely world, I'd love to give purple second. Um, But just because I don't want to fuck this up... What am I getting? 30? I mean, I don't want to make the error, basically. So he gets third. And I don't think third's going to matter much for him because I bet you this account isn't all that high. So a third place for this guy probably still ranks him up decently. But yeah, the single line to kill plus the extra two cards. I'm just taking the safe play here. And Bob is, in fact, your uncle. We've been doing really good overall this series, haven't we? We've been just smashing it. Just smashing it. So what do we think about Reverse World? I like Reverse World a lot. Um, I don't think it's top, top tier, but I think it's a pretty good risk map. It's big. It was the map I won my world title on. Um, risk World Championships Season 2 2023. Progressive 70. Um, I like it. So, interestingly, um, green was rated higher than orange, who quit, which makes sense, and purple, who played like it, played it like it's fixed. Green was hyper aggressive. So, it does that just goes to show that playing aggressive can uh, rank you up at least to beginner. Um, and as I predicted, blue was an expert. So, blue was the highest ranked player in this game. Okay. So we will switch back eat, and I'll show you guys the tier list. Gotta turn my own uh gotta make gotta make my account look pretty. Dorcas uh McGorcus. There we are. Oh, that's the Steam name. Pete. It's me. Better. Okay. So if you look at the tier list as it stands, this is uh, board number eight, uh, board number 13 of, I don't know, 80 something. Um, I like reverse world somewhere about here is where I would put it. So I think Central America and modern Spain are my favorite maps that we've looked at so far. And I would put Reverse World in between Asia 1800s and Canada um, for five to six player free for all progressive specifically. That is the scope of this test. Everything else, um, you know, I, I try to show when the small maps shine in 1v1s and whatnot, but I do hope you guys are enjoying the series. That is my, those are my thoughts on Reverse World. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, you can subscribe to both the Kill Pete strategy and Free Pete. Um, and what else can I say? Best of luck to those in uh, round five of the Kill Pete Open this week. Thank you for watching, folks. I appreciate you and for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.